You probably remember this shot. About three months ago, we got this trailer with this guard walking around a game free complex. And then dawned upon these three new creatures. Sprigatito, Voicoco, and Quaxley. And these three creatures are exactly what we are talking about Hello today. Hello everyone, welcome. Today, I will share with you my predictions for the evolutions of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet starters. And I have to say, I'm quite confident, so stay tuned. So first, I want to start with this little man. The fire starter, Foycoco. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but you know what I mean, you know. I think uh, I have a pretty good prediction where the evolution line of this guy is going to go, because for that, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into the region. As of now, it is commonly believed that the Gen Generation 9 region is based on Spain. And with what I've seen and the Pokémon uh, introduced, I do think it's a pretty good guess. So, what did I do? I dug a little deeper into the Spanish history and folklore. And I came across this story, or more of a legend, that I think will predict where the evolution line of Fuecoco is going to go. It is called the legend of Drac de na Coca. And you can already see Coca, Coco. You know, maybe Coco just stands for the Spanish word of crocodile. But maybe there's a little bit of resemblance here, right? Well, let's dig a little bit deeper. The legend uh, was a story that dates back to the 18th century. In Mallorca, it's a Spanish island, um, there were rumors of a terrible dragon living in the sewers and roaming around the cathedral at night where he would pick out his victims, eating up even like children and stuff like that. The whole, the whole town was scared of, uh, of this terrible creature. But one day, an esteemed captain named Bartholome Bartholom Cock uh, C O C, without the K. So uh, you know, what a guy. But already cock, coca, coco. You can see where I'm going, right? He was on his way to meet a lovely lady when something lurking in the shadows approached him. A massive lizard. He pulled out his sword and he stabbed it right through his chest. And then he knew, from the size and the stories, this got to be it. This got to be the creature. So he. First off, he showed his love uh, about his spoils and he embalmed the creature and stored it away. And to this day, it is on display in a local museum to, um, you know, tell the rich history of this island. And here I'm going to show you the rumored terrible dragon that was roaming around. As you can see, it's not really a dragon, it's a crocodile. Just like our boy over here, Foy Coco. And for this reason, I think Frococo's uh, final evolution will be like this uh, massive skeletal crocodile with the fi fire ghost typing, which I think would be re really cool. And you know, to bring in the folklore uh, of a dead, well, now dead crocodile and the spirit of it, combining it with a fire type, which, you know, it was believed to be a dragon. So I think we are going to see a fire ghost skeletal crocodile as for Coco's final evolution. Now, let's turn the page and go into the next one. The grass starter, Sprigatito. For this one, we will also be looking at the region. Uh, this game is most likely to be based on, you know, Spain. We went over this, and I think it's a good shout. And when I was looking at the animal population of Spain, I found something which I think will be a strong contender for Sprigatito, uh, his final evolution. Since there is this... Um, Endangered species, the Iberian lynx, also known as the Spanish lynx. Iberian lynx, uh, as I said, is an endangered species living in the Iberian Peninsula, an area in southern Europe having uh, its biggest portion in Spain. And I don't know, I feel like uh, choosing an endangered species who fits the region would be a cool thing to do for a starter. And also in terms of looks, the Iberian lynx has this beard stuff, uh, this beard-like fluff on the side of his head. Uh, and yeah, that's just like someone else we know. I've seen a lot of people predicting Sprigatito to become a grass fairy, but I actually think it's going to be a little bit different. To really show the sly slyness of a lynx, I think they're going to go for the grass dark route. 
And I do think Sprigatita's description we've been given so far does kind of suit it, you know? Sprigatita is a capricious and attention-seeking, and it tends to sulk if ignored by other people. So, you know, likes attention, but when you ignore it, not a fan of that. And sure, who will ignore the little kitty like he is? But when he grows up to be less cute and more dangerous looking, people might, you know, ignore it a little bit more and it might get a little angry. You never know. His description also says that it can rub its paws together to unleash, unleash a sweet therapeutic aroma that mesmerizes anyone near it and causes its foes to stop battling, which, which you know, can be interpreted as a sweet thing. You can also see it as using the aroma to, you know, make um, make your foe do what it wants, stop fighting, and then, you know, going for it, as a predator does. So, that has kind of a dark tint to it, don't you think? So, in my final conclusion, I think Sprigatito will become a Grass Darklynx, which I would not be mad about. I think that would be very cool. And last, but not least, since I love my ducks, Quaxley. This one was a little bit hard for me to tie into the Spanish lore or environment, but I did come up with two possible theories. Uh, one I think is better than the other, but they both have some merit to it. The first one I think is the lesser one, but you never know. Since I have seen a lot of people online depicting him as this like piratey or exploration type uh, Pokemon, which I think could be it. Since in Spanish history, seafaring was quite a big thing, and you might know the name Christopher Columbus. Yeah, you probably know him. Well, sure, he's Portuguese, but yeah. When he did his greatest discovery, uh, and he explored uh, and discovered the land we now know as America, even though he thought he reached India, but you know, that's a side note. He did this under the Spanish flag, rocking a Spanish ship and all. So, it has some ties to Spain. You never know. Also, just, you know, seafaring was a big thing in Spain, so I wouldn't rule it out. But, coming to my second theory, and I think this one might be it, you know? Since, as you know, a lot of water types have to do with weapons or fighting styles or whatever. For example, Blastoise is a turtle with a cannon, Greninja, this ninja rocking out with his shurikens, and Samurai is obviously be based on a samurai, and so on. Well, what if I tell you they might continue this trend with Quaxley? Sure, it's just this little duck, but in Kung Fu, you have different styles. One of it, the crane. You might know, you know, the, the crane looking thing in uh, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> What if I told you they were taking Quaxley to a route similar to, you know, a crane chopping you with his, um, with his feathers? Mind, it might sound far-fetched, but you know, there actually is a sub-style of the crane in Kung Fu called Duck Kung Fu, which specializes in close-range combat um, and, you know, just bending your arm, blocking and controlling strikes, which I think if they would make this like a fighting duck, I would love that personally. I think that would be really, really cool. And also there are these things they use in their Kung Fu called duck blades, which uh, look like this. And I don't know, I think it would be really cool if they continue the trend and Quackler will become this water fighting duck, possibly even uh, rocking or even dual wielding these blades. So. This might be like more of a, I hope they do this than an actual theory, but I do think with everything Pokemon has done so far with the water starters, it is a possibility they will take this route and I kinda hope they do. At last, here is the complete set. This is what I predict the three generation nine starters will turn into. A water fighting duck, a grass dark lynx, and last but not least, the fire ghost crocodile, based on the, you know, Spanish legend. Do you have a different theory? I would love to hear about it. So feel free to leave a comment. Also, if you agree with me, letting me know, I would like that as well. And if you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe since I will be more making more content like this in the future. So right, with all that said, I'm out. See ya.